The Trinidad and Tobago Football Association and head coach Stephen Hart have parted ways following a meeting today between a specially appointed committee and the now former men's head coach to discuss the future of the national team. Hart leaves after three years in charge, but after coming under pressure for a string of poor results recently, inclusive of a crashing out of the Caribbean Cup and losing the first two World Cup qualifiers in the final CONCACAF phase. Technical Committee Chairman Dexter Skeen, Technical Director Mohamed Issa and TTFA President David John Williams formed part of the special committee that met with Hart at the Ruby Tuesdays restaurant in Grand Bazaar, following which Hart declined to the invitation to speak to C-Sports. Instead, he directed us to the association's president. As well, um, yes, a decision had been taken, but I prefer to issue a press release to all media. And of course, that press release came in a short time ago, confirming that they have indeed parted ways. In reaction to these developments, former Trinidad and Tobago international Brent Sancho joins us on the phone. Good evening, Brent. Good evening, Josh. How are you doing? I'm um, great. Now, Brent, you, you've seen it all, including a similar situation on the road to Germany in 2005-2006. Does this latest development surprise you in any way? I think it probably was the worst kept secret in, in all of football in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I mean, when you, obviously, it, it, you, you don't like to see things end this way. Um, when you look at the past results during the course of the year, um, you know, obviously the Martinique lost the Costa Rica game, the Honduras game, and of course, earlier in the year, the Haiti game, and of course, some of the off-the-field issues that we had. Uh, I'm not thoroughly surprised by the decision made today. Now, Brent, um if, if you had uh, your, your, your choice of coaches, who do you think is the best for the job next? Well, I think that is the, I think that is the, the real question um, at the end of the day. Um, who do we get next to replace? Of course, uh, romantic people would call Leo Ben Hacker immediately um, as someone that would replace, but you have to take into consideration that whoever is coming into this job must have uh, first-hand knowledge of, uh, obviously, football in this region, as well as, of course, some sort of iota that relates to getting and navigating through the CONCACAF uh, hex. So when you take those two things into consideration, I, I won't be surprised if it's not someone that, that is tried and tested uh, through, uh, and I would have had a, a similar sort of path in terms of job within the CONCACAF region to take up the helm. Um, to call a name right now would be, would be a bit challenging, but um, someone of, of that experience would probably be needed. And um, Brent, just before you leave us, of course, uh, as soon as possible would be the best case scenario, but how soon must the TTFA work to appoint a, a next head coach? Well, I think this decision was not made uh, by Kivai. I, I would have suspected they would have summoned uh, someone as a, of a replacement before they made the decision. Uh, make a decision and then going on a search uh, would be completely naive of the TTFA, and I don't think they would have done that. So I believe the decision was made based on the fact, of course, or one of the factors being that they would have found uh, someone they considered to be a suitable replacement. So I expect an announcement in terms of that within the next week or so. All right, great. Thanks a lot there. Brent Sancho, former national footballer, sharing his thoughts and views on the latest development, which is that Stephen Hart has uh, parted ways with the TTFA and is no longer head coach of this country's senior men's football team. Of course, C-Sports will keep our finger on the pulse as that story develops throughout the night and certainly into tomorrow.